Hey guys, I'm here with the team from Cinema 6. Now I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves. That way it'll be easier for us to put the subtitles on. So we'll go around the room here. here we go. All right. Mark Potts. John Merriman. Don Suenos. Riley Smith. There's going to be a quiz later, so everybody make sure you have those names. Now, Cinema 6, we're here at Dallas International Film Festival. You guys, this has been kind of a, a big talked about thing for us, and, and, you know, we love having you guys here. Talk a little bit about what it means to you to be bringing this project here to this particular film festival and how the vibe's been for you so far. Well, Dallas is a great festival, and uh, we, we just got here, but it's already been a lot of fun. And we shot the movie uh, in Texas, so it's nice to premiere here in the state that, uh, you know, we shot it in. It kind of feels like home. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> uh, I love Dallas. I have family here, so I'm thrilled to have them come and nervous to have them come because there's a lot of language in this movie. Uh, our whole, a bunch of our crew, our whole camera department are all from Dallas. Yes. So being able to bring the movie here and have the crew come out and then go drink with the crew afterwards, probably, uh, is just going to be great fun. So, uh, yeah, it's great. Sodas. Big sodas? No. Oh. Not soda. <laughs> yeah, I just second that. It's a pretty Texas-centric film, so it's good to have it come here. What would you tell people that are some of the advantages of shooting a movie in Texas as opposed to other places? Like, what do you think are some of the things that make Texas filming great? Well, I think they, they, they live in Texas. We lived in Oklahoma when we shot it, but they live in Texas. But every time we've come down here, you know, the film commission's been really nice to us, really inviting, and everybody we know is just wanting to shoot stuff and, and make things. So it's a very welcoming environment and uh, just a lot of fun. Everyone seems laid back. Yeah, very cool. And and are you guys going to be taking this anywhere else after Dallas International? We will. I don't think we can say yet. Yeah. Tribeca, Sundance, can all the big ones, right? Yeah, 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 it's yeah. going to be for years. We're, we're just coming playing here all the big first, ones. and then yeah. we're going to can. Yeah, that's, that's why we're so special because we're starting off here. Yeah, we actually a version of the movie we uh, retitled uh, called The Avengers. We're getting that in some theaters <laughs> yeah. in a couple weeks, so look out for it. Yeah, that's yeah. very cool. Thank you guys. Thank Enjoy you your much. time here at Dallas Thank International. You. Have fun. Thanks. Thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, uh, Dallas. Ben is going to join us. Do you know Ben? Ben. Oh hey, Thanks. Ben. Mark Walters. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Carried away. Awesome. He made several movies of his own. You know, it wouldn't be a Dallas International Film Festival red carpet without Tom Huckabee on it. So we're glad to have you back. And, and Ben's with you. Now where you guys work together on Carried Away. Many things. Many ben things. was the editor of Carried Away, but he was the writer, producer, creator of Ghost Breakers, which we did last year, which will be coming out soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to add to that, Ben? Yeah, well, the ambiguous soon. The ambiguous soon. The yeah. ambiguous soon. We were hoping that we'd get a call today before we had to come here. It's That's how close we are to knowing what soon is. Yeah, but we do have an announcement. We're getting this, married. Is that right? Oh, yeah. congratulations. I had no clue. You didn't know about this. This is, this is very sudden, it's but I guess closer. it's it explains why my stomach's been getting larger. Tom, you, you have a lot of explaining to do. I forgot to pop the question. Yeah. Will you marry me? We'll have to talk later. Yeah. Uh, let's not get carried away, fellas. Oh, see what I did there? So so now you guys, I mean, obviously, Tom, you've been out at this several times. I mean, it, it, isn't it great to see how it, it seems like we're getting more and more Texas-made films and more and more people that are that are going to the links to make these movies in Texas and bringing it here to Dallas International. We just talked to the guys from Cinema 6, and, you know, we've got so many great projects coming in this year. What's, what's exciting you at the moment? Like, are there any films that you're looking forward to seeing here? Besides the ones I'm exactly, making myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's exciting me? I'm excited to see the one tonight that, you know, but I haven't read about the others, so I'm, right, right. it'll be surprises. Do you have some you can recommend to me? Well, I saw a couple of interesting things at South by Southwest. We're not necessarily Texas made, but like uh, compliance really was intriguing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw the sh a short film with made on the same subject, you know, like a year before. And then Spurlock's Comic Con film is, is pretty fascinating, too. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, that sounds good. What else? And then, what other uh, recommendations? I, I don't know. I'm totally having a brain fart right now. But, you know, I mean, well, there's there's a, there's a couple of interesting. Wolf looks very interesting to me, which is also shot in San Antonio, I believe. Ah, perfect. That yeah. sounds good. I'll check that out for sure. And then we're out here at the historic Majestic Theater. This is a, such a great place to kind of kick off the festival. Uh, you know, what, what I mean, I, I know you guys are still waiting kind of for this whole thing to kick in. But, you know, like, what are some of your favorite experiences, I guess, like looking back on some of the, the diff film festivals? Here? Oh, gosh, yeah. Uh, well, showing carried away there for for sure. That was fantastic. Yeah, that you guys were totally like the hit of the fest with that thing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what else? What else have we shown? Memories. Yeah. Got any memories? Other than getting married. I don't think you get <laughs> yeah, that was, that's weird. I still don't even remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Nothing. Nothing. Okay, you guys got nothing. All right. Well, I did the best I could. Tom, it's always a pleasure to have you, and uh, you guys enjoy your time tonight and enjoy your uh, newfound nuptials, and uh, we'll uh, check in on you later. Hopefully, there's a kid in the future. <laughs> One there now. How are Brian. you, man? How did I miss you? How are you, man? Congratulations on uh, being a new baby daddy, as, as always. You know, you. I just talked. I just talked to Tom, and we were saying. Oh, <laughs> I just talked to Tom and Ben, and we were. Yeah, I was saying it's like I got skipped over by you on, on the carpet because I was trying to squeeze my way in here, and I was like, that Brian Massey snubbed me. <laughs> I didn't. I would never snub you. We, we go way back, me and this guy. Yeah, way back to like I don't know what two, three, four years ago. I can't even remember how long ago it was. I don't know. I'll tell you after we have some more drinks. Well, tell, tell me first of all, fatherhood. How's that going for you? Fatherhood is great. It's, uh, I, I can't even put it in words. It's amazing. Yeah. Scary. Amazing. It seems a hard juggling time with acting as well as being a dad. No? Yeah, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's definitely, uh, it's a constant, uh, it, I, I don't get much sleep, put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, opening night Dallas International Film Festival. It would not be a Dallas International Film Festival red carpet without having you here yeah, and Tom. Yeah. You know, seriously. I mean, you guys are like fixtures here. Uh, what have you been working on lately? What do you got coming up? Yeah, hopefully uh, a lot tonight. I'm actually working this week on a, on a, on a uh, World War II uh, uh, story about um, uh, Red Courage. It's uh, I'm going back to film in Addison Airport. We're filming on a B-29 bomber. It's been all night shoots. Yeah, so I. Uh, I was up till 7.30 this morning. Got home in time to change a diaper and threw this on and uh, got my hands all dirty. Sorry. Oh, uh, no, thank I'm you very much. No, yeah. I, uh, and we're going back tonight. And this is my last, an last night. You have an announcement? Yeah, talk, but Brian, I'm sorry, did I interrupt your interruption, Tom? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's that Brian and I are going to be making a movie, and he's right. going to be the second lead, not second the star, lead. but actually, actually, no, no, it's no, the no, third. No, but you can't third lead. Third. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait what did this happen? I, what did drop a bomb on me in the red the carpet? Third. But that's two steps up from what he was on Carried Away. On Carried Away, I was number the five. five. Number five. So I gave yeah. him a promotion, a double promotion. Right. What will the title of this opus be? It's called the Attachment. The Attachment. That's yeah. right. So we can look for this. Uh, what are you thinking? Like next year at Diff? Or? Yeah, next I year at Diff. My next year at Diff will be yeah. very. Yeah. Yeah. Just remember, you got to prioritize Huckabee and then Kid underneath that. Huckabee you know, Kid. Well, aren't they one and the same? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's how quick I am, folks. Keep up. Rewind right. that. I've had my fill. Thank <laughs> you, Brian. Yeah, you it's good talking to you. <laughs> Tell Todd Farmer I said what up. I will. <laughs> see you, buddy. Drew, Drew Waters. Nice very nice to see you. I think we've talked before yeah, at one of the sure Dallas International Film Festival. I'm, uh, I'm one of those local, uh, you know. You're a fixture. I'm a fixture in this area. So. What, what is it you like best about this festival? Like, what is it that, that really stands out to you? I mean, I, I mean, obviously, just being in Dallas, there's so much that comes with that, you know. But I, it's in my backyard. Yeah. That's what I love best about it. You know, I uh, I, I, I tend to fly out out of. St State and do a lot of projects, but it's nice to have a great festival to come home to instead of flying somewhere else, you know? Yeah. In um, Texas in general, I mean, we have what, South by Southwest, we have uh, San Antonio that has one, and now Dallas has grown great links. Uh, it's cool to see that happen, too. Yeah, yeah. It is, and it's great to see that films actually coming in and getting bought out here, you know? That, that shows a lot of uh, hope for filmmakers in this area as well, and it's great to see people come in from out of state. You know, yeah. I, I think that's the most important thing is have a festival that people can come to out of state want to come to that means something and, and have an opportunity to have their project picked up and, and brought somewhere uh, the film I have in the in the uh, cowgirls and angels. cowgirls and angels yeah it's uh, up in Oklahoma uh, but uh, Sean Griffin one of the producers on it is a local boy from here so you know here we are yeah here we that's are. great and being out here at the historic majestic theater I mean that's got to be a great way to kind of kick this whole thing off it's yeah you know it's the right way we were at the new uh, uh, Symphony Hall uh, last year, and, and I think bringing it back to here is just a, it's a beautiful way to start off this year. I think fifth year, and it's uh, it's it's growing. Yeah, yeah. It's continuing to grow, and that's I think that's the important thing about it. Get some good projects in, get some uh, great talent to come with it, and have a good time. Are you already thinking about next year? Like, what do you got lined up? Uh, what's on the horizon for you? Well, we uh, <laughs> I'm excited because uh, Greg Ellis and I just had a great conversation about a project that I want to do, and, and uh, we just uh, agreed to it and, and he's on board so we're fixing to start pushing it off. I got another movie we're starting mid-May 
that's a feature that uh, a good friend, producer friend of mine, that he's bringing it back into Texas, which I'm happy about, and, and I got the lead in it. And then I have another movie called Home Run that hits the theaters, 1,500 screens coming. September, I think it is. I think it's release time in September. You know, and of course, me and four buddies got a crazy web series called D Life that we shoot around town Dallas. We had uh, we captured uh, uh, C J Wilson before he left, and a uh, rumor is we might be getting Spud Webb. And uh, you, mean you guys couldn't hold on to C J Wilson oh, for him. Oh man, I don't know. I, let me let me tell you something. After after the playoffs, I cussed the TV a lot at him. I'm like, oh, you, what? You did you? Oh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Bays can have him. You know, Angels. Angels can. Have yeah, whatever. Uh, nah, he's a good guy. He's a fun guy. Drew, have fun tonight. It's going to be a good time having you back here, and uh, we'll talk to you some more during the fest. Good to be back on my home soil, i got to tell you. Mayor with Ernest James, we've seen you in Friday Night Lights most recently. Jeff, who lives at home. Uh, Friday Night Lights, I, my, my buddy Scott Porter was uh, on the show, yeah, so we're like good butts and everything. So I was, you got any dirt on him? Anything I can use against him? Uh, <laughs> I wish. I wish. We kind of filmed on different different seasons. Like, the season yeah. I came in was the season that he left, but I've hung out with him a couple of times. I, I don't have any yet, but I'll... I'll stay looking. He's a big comic book nerd. Yeah, so I've heard. He's always at Comic Con and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I kind of am too. I just don't let people know. I am. So. Now, what, what, talk about coming out here to Dallas International Film Festival. We're here at the historic Majestic Theater, being out here opening night. What's what's the vibe like for you so far? I mean, it seems like everything's got, everybody's really excited. Everybody's ready to have a good time. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. It's actually my first time uh, experiencing the, the festival as a whole. Like, last year I did uh, opening night, but I wasn't able to go to the rest because of scheduling stuff. So, uh, I'm excited just to be here and yeah. catch up with people I haven't seen in a while and you know see some good films and support some good uh, good people. Are there anything in particular anything in particular you're looking forward to seeing? Anything you really want to check out? Um I really want to see the uh, the opening night film uh, tonight with uh remind me. Uh, oh uh, it's uh, uh, yeah so you gotta check out the paper arts. That one liberal arts. Right. I, I keep really wanting to say like Libby Arts. I don't know why I want to say that but yeah it's liberal <laughs> arts yeah Mike's girlfriend's name but yeah, Libby Arts yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah she's long she was great. Yeah 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 I know <laughs> that's not cool. Um, no but I mean like any other I mean, talk about like, I mean, because you've obviously worked in Texas, you know, several times. I mean, talk about working in Texas and what that means to uh, young filmmakers and being able to bring a project like, you know, what they do to a place like this. Well, it's um, it's awesome. Working in Texas is the best. Like, I've actually put off going to L.A. on purpose. I would much rather work here and the surrounding markets, Louisiana, New Mexico, only because I really think this is a prime time to be here and that uh, a lot of productions are coming from the West over here because you can make stuff for, you know, a dime on the dollar than you can there, so I'm really trying to stick around as long as I can. And the food's not bad. The food doesn't hurt, you know, the taco <laughs> trucks, they, uh, craft services, they, yeah, they're my friend, they are, yeah. I visited the set of Friday Night Lights, so I know what kind of food you guys are eating. They spoiled us, man, they, they really set the bar, yeah. The spreads were great. Ernest James, hey man, have fun, Thanks, man. and uh, enjoy your time here at Div. Thanks. It's good talking to you. You too, man. I'm here with the fellows from Brooklyn Brothers Beat the Best, which is the film that I don't think I could say six times fast if I tried. So now, Ryan, so we've seen, we've seen, <laughs> I did purposely do that. We've seen you here before for the Dry Land and everything, and you're you're coming back to Dallas International, so you're no stranger to this whole thing. Uh, Michael Charles, glad to have you guys out here at the historic te uh, Majestic Theater. It's it's really great to be out here. Talk about bringing this uh, project here, and and of course the the vibe that you guys have been getting from Dallas International so far. You know, Dallas has been so welcoming in, in so many ways. I mean, when I was here with the Dryland, I was overwhelmed by the amount of amazing people that I that I met here, and it just feels like such a beautiful full circle to be bringing my own film here. And uh, already, I'm just even just walking up. I've seen so many old faces, and it's it's been wonderful. Yeah. You want to run away, don't you? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Red carpet. No. Well, and there's the inevitable question too about you know being an actor and becoming a director and everything. I, you know, I've asked people before. Do you think sometimes actors Actors can make the best directors because they kind of know what's going through the minds of actors. You know, it's interesting. Me and uh, me and Charles and Mike actually talk about this because Charles is about to direct his his own movie and act in it. Mike's about to direct his own movie, and it's a, uh, you know, I think it is a, a good thing because you get a chance to get inside of a character. I mean, you, you've been trained to do that, and you, and so you kind of see a story from the inside out, which I, I think can can lend itself to a lot of details that maybe approaching something from the outside doesn't always do, doesn't always carry. I mean, Especially you, if you wrote it yourself, you know you know every little dot how it links up, and I feel like you. 
you, if you're used to working with actors uh, in front of the camera, you really understand what it takes to, to to block a scene and make people feel comfortable and 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 bring that scene to fruition. And I feel like if it's your own piece and your own material, uh, you're just that much more intimate with it all. And you can and uh, it's a really actually a wonderful process. It was so much fun working with this man and this man, <laughs> uh, who will also direct wonderful films. But uh, it was a uh, he was so passionate about it, and and he brought that to the set every day. And you know, uh, when when it's your own baby, it, there's something really special to that. So yeah, it's great. I think the best part of it was working with friends. You know, when you work with friends, you care about the project that much more. You know, and you invest in everything into it. So. You know, that was the best part of it for me. Yeah. Never, never any moments where you guys wanted to like, you know, bust each other's heads open? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just earlier, earlier <laughs> we were just friends. wrestling earlier tonight. <laughs> earlier today, five seconds ago. You <laughs> but that's great friends. Yeah. There's yeah. No, no BS. So at least yeah. That's brothers. That's how, that's how you do it. <laughs> Are you guys going anywhere after uh, Dallas International with this? Or what do you... What do you... We go from here to uh, to Florida International Film Festival. And then we go from there to River Run. And then, um, uh, what is it? Nashville. Nashville. And Newport Beach. Newport. Seattle. Yeah. Uh, it's a big their big run on it, but uh, and then the, it's just the beginning. Yeah, and then it's re released. Uh, I believe the, it's being released all over the country in September, and then uh, we have a release in, I believe, July in the UK, and then in France in August. And and, and the Brooklyn Brothers are actually going on tour. This is yeah. ridiculous. But we actually got a record deal out of this, and so uh, so we are going to go on tour playing the music in this movie, and uh, uh, it makes me nervous just to talk about it. <laughs> Now, are we missing somebody? We have Jason Berman. Jason Berman is the producer. He's actually he's here tomorrow night. He's, here tomorrow. he's getting here tomorrow night. Yeah, he'll be here for the for the opening tomorrow. Awesome. All right. Well, we got Brooklyn Brothers beat the best. Be sure and look up for it. It looks like we're going to have plenty more chances to see this if anybody misses it here. And we'll be sure and post links for him. Charles Chu, Michael Weston, Ryan Onan. We'll be talking to you guys later at the film festival. Thank you so much for talking to us. Enjoy your time tonight. It's going to be great. Claude Del Faro, a producer of Liberal Arts, uh, the opening night film of the Dallas International Film Festival. That's a quite an honor right there. I mean, being here, historic Majestic Theater, opening night, I mean, you got to be excited. I'm very excited. We're all very excited. Josh couldn't be here tonight. He's on his way to Europe. He's going to be in Sundance, London in a couple of weeks, so he's got a big European tour right now. But we are very, very excited about the festival, about being here. The movie's showing four times during the festival. Opening night, it's, it's great. How's the journey been on making this film, like from start to finish? Has it been an easy process? a difficult process what would you say it's been an easy process because Josh is a very smart and easy guy to work with he came with a script that was almost totally finished when he presented it to us the first time it was a lovely script Elizabeth Olsen who had already been in a movie that we did the year before Peace Love and Misunderstanding we knew her already we knew how great of an actress she is so it was a very easy decision. Yeah, and she's like, I mean, it's it's kind of a nice little bonus that she's sort of like the hot new thing. Like everybody's like talking about Elizabeth Olsen, and it's great to have her be a part of this project. It, it's great. It's great. It's very important for these kind of indie movies to have stars who can really bring an audience to the movies. So it's great. Fantastic. Well, we really appreciate you bringing this here to Dallas International, and have fun tonight, opening night. It's going to be great. I can already Thanks. tell. Thank you. The great Arthur Benjamin with us, ladies and gentlemen. Arthur's one of the reasons that this whole thing is made possible for us. When we come out here and we celebrate these Texas-made films, it's such a wonderful event to be a part of. And I would think that, you know, seeing the, 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 the majesty, I guess appropriate word, being here at the Historic Majestic Theater for opening night, it's got to be kind of a nice gratifying thing to be a part of all, all this. You know? It really is a nice thing. And as always, I do it in memory of my late uncle, who is Robert S. Benjamin, who is the chairman of the Board of United Artists and Orion Pictures. And it's it's just a pleasure to be part of the film environment in any city, but in Texas, in Dallas, it's really special. You know, one of the things I love about this festival, aside from just the great people that are involved with it, is that it really does kind of help encourage seeing more films that are made in the Texas area. Uh, do you think we're starting to see things really open up for Texas filmmakers, and maybe this isn't a kind of an indirect way, a direct result of that? You know, they say Dallas is about business. I think it's now time that Dallas has caught the most business and I think we'll see a sh shift more to Texas over the next five years. Yeah, we got to get people out of that New Orleans area and get them back over here, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be great. It's about the tax incentives. <laughs> it's all about those tax incentives. Arthur, thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for helping us, you know, get all this great stuff here and it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Great to be here. Great to talk to you. Thanks.
Sharon and Don. Now, Sharon, drop that diva. I, I got to tell you, I'm a friend of John Wesley Ship, who's a big part of that show. So, so you know, I, I've got some history going back with Drop Dead Diva on that. Tell us about being out here the opening night of the Dallas International Film Festival, the historic Majestic Theater, the vibe that you're feeling. You know, what's going through your head right now? It's very exciting. I think, I mean, Dallas is such a wonderful place, and I started working here back in the 70s when it was the Third Coast, and uh, really moving into that, and we left it for a while. It's time to come back. We've got to do something about those incentives, though. That's right, the tax incentives. That's the problem. Everybody's going to New Orleans. they got to stay here, you know. And Georgia's got them. That's why, I mean, I go out there and I, I play a recurring judge on Drop Dead Diva, and uh, I love that. When we did Sorted Lives, the series, I was a recur on that. We had to shoot in Louisiana because the, the incentives were just so amazing. So we need to get them back here, and we need to get the work going. But this is my husband, Bill, and, and he is my fellow producer for Velvet Ribbon Productions, and we've done four four productions this past year. And how how you feeling today? Great, great. This is a lot of fun and we're enjoying it and hope to enjoy the film that we're going to see too. Yeah. Liberal Arts is the opening film tonight. It, it, it we, we just talked to, uh, uh, I've already forgot his name, but you know, the producer of the film. But it, but it seems like everybody's like, like everybody's really excited about being here right now. Yeah. yeah. What's well, great, he's so talented. A very, very talented man. So I'm, I'm really excited to get, get to see his film. Were you expecting this much wind tonight? No. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. I'm so used to like the hot, I'm used to like sweating all the time and it's actually kind of nice out here. It's really pleasant. Lovely. <laughs> and it, anyway, and so it gives new meaning to Texas Big Hair. There you go, Texas Big Hair. Mark Walters. That's right. Okay. I'm no relation to the actor, Mark Walters. That son of a bitch stole my name. I can't use it on IMDb right now. <laughs> so nice to meet you. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. So Thank you for talking to us. Yes. You guys have fun tonight. It's going to be a blast. I can already Thank tell. You.